Opening bell for in a perfect world. Ding, there would be bells. Right? Ding, bells like dong. Here, so. <sighs> Where would you? Have it? Perfect world with you, Vincent. Because perfect. when you're in the world, it's completely perfect. For whom the bell tolls. Wow. Hey, Hello, Bart. Why did you have to go burn down that church in France? What What was wrong? Man. I thought it was up North Dakota at Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, that one. Not where the hunchback lived. The other one where the I'm fun, man, boy. The kid with the golden balls. He lives there in North Dakota. He does? I don't know. But we're in a perfect world tonight saying hey to Grim and the crazy folks out in the real liberty media. Well, crazy folks means Rob and Hansel, but well, Bill <laughs> say how the mighty Botman himself ah. are very our man, followed by the most centrifugous person here, Cowboy Tech. I I don't know what that word means, but it's supposed to be <laughs> it just <laughs> makes something that sounds clean. <laughs> Didn't sound like a dirty word. <laughs> <laughs> and the great and mighty Grimner with the the, mighty the wizard, uh, the wizard of Oz. Oz, Oz. I live in the Oz arts. Hello, Kate, and DC back brackets. Asmo, Miss Beth Z, and Chalcedony mm. Echelon. There's a lot in that name, Echelon, is there not? Graham Z and IBDC, along with Java Doctor 2 and Judge Dredd, your favorite Nazi and mine. That's right, here for your entertainment pleasure. Oh, uh, the one that has just taken the powder. Is the haunts a lot. He just left. He didn't split. He? He, wow. dumped, he dumped yeah. you like a ugly girlfriend, baby. Out the door. That. There's Meester Meisterbrow. He's gone off to work. Up Rain. Rain, Rob Lutz. Yes, the uh, great, the great Pooh himself, Mister Pooh Boy and Bitchbot. He uh, went Charles, off for a nap. You're ra you're ranting about nothing. Yeah, he might listen. Catch up, Vincent. Vanna White. I don't know what he's doing. He's on. Uh, Vanna White, a uh, very own lovely letter poster. Uh, yes. Peacock's boast and Peacock's post. And the weather dark and phantom beetle. The very lovely and wonderful circle. And Gold Facts 101 along with the delicious cyber noodle, Dakota. Mm. Uh, hey, what's going on up there with all that church burning up there anyways in Dakota's? Flash somebody. What's happening, Flash? Hey. Uh, Frumpy 2 and Gromit in the J's of nines in the Scotland, Kozu, um, there's the bitch by itself, uh, Carl Marx and Kiss, Ponder Gander, take a look, you see, with some pond uh -huh. sauce on it, your hand in a sock puppet, you sell Elmo, cause I'm Vinny V.I., not a P.I. or a Poo-I, uh -oh. the stink eye. <laughs> oh well. What the is Grimner? No, that's bad. The doctor Can was him? walking by me today, and I said, hey, there goes old one-eye. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cats. I don't know. They got their fucking tails straight up in the air half the time. <laughs> that comes from the Benny Hill episode. Oh, one-eye. <laughs> I remember that. That's one of the things that sticks in my mind's eye. I guess the eyes be it. We The eyes have it. Uh, cannabis affects the eyes, you post. So this is the eye show, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah, Gr Cirque is telling Grim that about the leftover show because Brett Dollbanger or <laughs> some kind of name like that was he was the main character of the story. It was funny. <laughs> we were listening to it laughing. Yeah, I added that there. It's uh, all, all over here somewhere. That's a funny name, huh? I know, but it, it just fit the article he was reading about. But he had this goofy freaking name. like It was made up. It was just funny. 
Yeah, uh, I I added a name for him and uh, make a new character. We call him Scarvy Dollbanger. <laughs> Duck cool. Slam in the in the TV adaptation. You don't have this. to make anything up. You got you got Trump sitting in the White House. Come on, you don't need to make anything up. Just go to Twitter and repeat what you see. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna believe it. They might as well, you know, make stuff up. I suppose. Yeah. Well, they wanted to be called the Fart Narkies. Ah, that that was. <laughs> yeah, I remember reading that earlier. I did, said it for him. Did you next? Yeah. Right. Did you see the link I sent you in the wire? Box? Yeah, I was just about that. Yeah, okay. the the cannabis now, eye thing. <laughs> Articles yeah, earlier, earlier. Well, I was going to say earlier, uh, it was Cowboy Tech posted one and Rob Works posted another article. And I figured I didn't know if you're going to be here or not. So I figured we do articles tonight unless you got something else in your mind. I have the articles of Confederation. Oh, sure. those wasted memories. <sighs> You don't have anything. Where are you, America? You got land of opportunity and rights and president and voting and all that. Well, I'm presently consumed with the, the farting archies. Well, keep this busy for a minute. I'll be right back. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. Hey, that was pretty funny, Grimner. I laughed and laughed. Yes. Hello, everybody. This is Vinny V.I. El Nacho Negro, the not so dark night. I come not so much to mark you, but more so to watch over or look after, shall I say, the deeds of men. Would that be Scarvy Dollbanger? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so did y'all catch uh, did y'all catch Hal Sunday? Global culling management and uh, properizing uh, police power and secret law. So they're no longer even avoiding the appearance of impropri impropriety, uh, impropriety. Oh. Yeah. So what did, um, you, what did you do so, while I was gone? Well, with the con and more on the documentary of our times. Uh, well, for us. isn't that cool? Anyway, so I opened up this link called, uh-oh, now it's making me do things on. I have to no thank it. It was called How Cannabis Affects the Eyes. Now, you want to do a little reading? Or do you want me to do a little read? Do you want to even read at all? You, what, what, what? You read it and I'll smoke it. Oh, okay. Many cannabis consumers have experienced the infamous red... Eye. The eyes are often the most common giveaway after a serious session with a vaporizer. Wow, what is this, like tools for the newbie? I, you know, you eventually you grow out of this and that red eye just stays with you all the time. <laughs> Never mind. That was a comedy joke, Vincent. <laughs> Yet, while some may find the herbs visible effects on the eyes to be burdensome, there are several surprising ways that cannabis supports ocular health, from easing symptoms of eye disease to staving off degenerative blindness. Here's what you need to know about how cannabis affects the eyes. And then it says, how does cannabis affect the eyes? Got a picture of a guy's face and there's shining lights in his eyes. Dang it. As it turns out, cannabis may help you see things a little differently. Research suggests that the herb can have an impact on every organ in the body, including the eyes. Yeah. I've never heard about a, a weed hard on before, though. Heard about the heroin hard on, but. Not the weed hard, hard on, so don't get all excited out there, are you sex bot people. Slow down a little bit. Let this, it'll make sense in time. Wee. Ah, they were, anyway. This network, wait a minute, I think I skipped a line. 
Yes, I did. While it may sound too good to be true, cannabis compounds work their magic in the eyes by tapping into one of the largest cellular communication networks in vertebrates. This network is the endocannabinoid system, ECS. Wow, that sounds pretty fucking medical and shit, doesn't it, Vinny? Yeah, I mean, well, I was all... doing search for old one eye, and at the top comes Urban Dictionary of old one eye, and it's the, uh, the snake, the one eyed snake. Uh, I was looking for the uh, oh, for the you know, well, yeah, you're, you know, you're I mean, a dirty boy, that's the way you roll. Oh, I, mean, I was I, looking at hey. cat's ass. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying my little uh, link. Okay, cannabis compounds interact with. The ECS by engaging a special type of cell receptor called a cannabinoid receptor. What do they write this for five year olds or what? No, the human eye happens to express high levels of one particular cannabinoid receptor, the CB1. Vision processing centers of the brain also feature a bounty of these landing sites. Hey, this is kind of like a Goober Hansel link, isn't it? Remedial uh, interpretation of what weed does to your ocular system. Anyway, sorry guys, I just couldn't resist. <clears throat> a 2016 primate study... <laughs> primate study published in neural plasticity has found that manipulating cannabinoid receptors changes the way electroactinographic waves pass through the retina well i don't know about all that electro whatever graphic wave you know anything about that <coughs> no Isn't that news to you no, i i am your father obi-wan uh <laughs> no connect. it's the other guy the darth vader guy right that had the yeah. kid. Obi Wan Kenobi. I thought he was a robot. No, that's R2D2 and uh, CP. See, I've never seen Star Wars, so I get the guys confused. I don't care for the new out. ones that all came out, but uh, the old original ones back mm -hmm. when I was a kid. You no, know, nah, I never saw those either. Anyway, they, you know, Dark Shadows was scary back in the set. Well, shall I continue with our epic beginners eye power thing? story what was it called we've got how a time. cannabis affects the eye mm. yeah eyes have it well it's just a really simple kind of a beginner's guide to fancy uh, did words you know that, that hmm? there were cannabinoid receptors in the eye because i didn't know that but it makes sense when you when you understand then that uh, uh cannabis helps with glycoma mm. um but, yeah, you know, yeah i thought about that but i don't know See, I'm so lost in all the stories about what's been proven to be bullshit. I don't know what to believe. Well, I believe it's related probably to the tree of life. The, mm. cannabis. the tree? There's so many well, how is it a tree? Is it Everybody calls it a tree. It's got to be a tree. Everybody. I I didn't. You never Maybe call I, want, I want to call it something else of life. You can call it whatever you want to. The, you can call it the thing. Uh, uh, okay. The thing of life. There you go. I have just it's, renamed it. There you go. That's uh, what you gotta do. You gotta take the <laughs> word language. Make it your own. Take huh, control. For... Yeah. You know, if you're not in control make of yourself, it. who are you in control of? Think about it. Right. There's gonna be a test at seven o'clock. Cool. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, so shall I continue on my epic saga? Uh-huh, and until I interrupt you. Carry These on. waves are measured by an electro-retinogram, which records the electrical response of the eye to a light stimulus. The researchers found that cannabinoid receptors moderated the eye's response to light. Hmm. Well, there's a few things that do that, though response to light thing and the ways in which 
cannabis affects eyesight needs further <laughs> investigation. I'm investigating right now, everybody, and it's only 14 <laughs> after. Anyway, <laughs> however, this early, see, early research, <laughs> I'm doing it early. six minutes earlier than everybody else. <laughs> anyway, yeah. offers even more reason to investigate cannabis as a treatment for diseases of the eye. Well, you know what really impresses me about cannabis as what? opposed to pillulars? Tell me. Well, I can actually grow a, a cannabis plant and use it, but I can't make a pillular. Pillulars have to be bought from the, you know, the, uh, drug dealers <laughs> the drug deal the real drug dealers not the not the people that sell weed on the black market no i'm talking about your pharmacies <laughs> where you get the good shit what was that meme i seen yesterday about uh, the 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 uh, legal weed in the state selling it at twice the price of the black market <laughs> yeah i saw that it was yeah half the price because the government, well, they're expensive. Got a lot of uh, administration to take care of when you support a government. Everybody has to see it printed on in paper, in ink, you know, in triplicate, signed by your grandmother, you know, documented, stacked. All those wonderful things that administrators do for the good of the people. You know, the one thing they can't do what they can't pay a debt to save their life none of them you know the world's like a hundred and something trillion dollars in debt to the rothschilds because so, of the stupid the interest on the paper it's just they must laugh laugh <laughs> and just think how stupid people really I'm, are yeah well collectively what what are we going to do if we if we don't want to do what we're doing <clears throat> what you can't hardly even go just go live in the woods you know hal talked about that he tried to get out there and yeah. you know they came posing upon him even in the wild yeah uh, yeah they'll come looking for the strays that escaped the herd mm -hmm. so yeah well it's all I'm about uh, bean counting in it you know, I, I'm really kind of free where I'm at because I really, you know, I, I seldom venture out. But if yeah. I did venture out and, and stray off that narrow path, you know, I could worry about getting clipped. Oh, now, yeah. uh, this girl and this guy moved in um, down the road here. Uh, let's see. She, I think she's 26 and he ain't much older. And anyways, they spent, you know, the majority of their life from uh, early teenage years into uh, – uh, Living out on the road, uh, you know, as homeless, whatever the many words you call people that uh, tramps or hobos and, you know, riding new trains and uh, living. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and so sure. they, worked and they saved and they brought this piece of land over here. Now, <clears throat> that their physical look, you know, they don't fit this, uh, this white privilege that, say, I might because of my dress and haircut and appearance and stuff. Oh. Uh. Okay. Anyways, they've been pulled over and not consented to a search like two or three times now. Her husband's off for uh, for uh, a few more weeks, and she's by herself. But anyway, she got pulled over coming from work here late. Uh, last week it was late in the evening, and kept her there for some three or four hours on the roadside, wanting to search, and then finally with a dog, and uh, the dog several times, and finally hits, and they they uh, she had a. a a Ziploc baggie with washing uh, detergent in it, washing powder, laundry soap. Yeah. And they they confiscated that. <laughs> Here where I live, they yeah. took a bag of laundry soap huh. and kept this girl and and two men and put her hand their hands all up on her, and wanting to search her and feel her up or whatever it was. Here where I live. Yeah. Now, that wasn't no more than maybe five miles from where the sheriff actually lives, which just over two miles from me. And I think I have a kind of might have to. Uh, uh, I ain't trying to start no trouble or nothing, but I'm going to I believe I'm going to have to do an audit and have a talk uh, with Lucas 
and uh, just ask him about certain procedures and policy. Um, because, you know, the focus and concentration is is catching the people that are have got some dope on them. And I mess is the problem out here. There's no like crack or heroin or uh, uh, pills. So I guess about gone is the problem. They, uh, so they get people on heroin, but uh, right. But don't they take in, into account the physical appearance of the person that they're trying to arrest? Got pink, pink hair and a a, a ring through her nose. Oh, it's, you didn't say that first, you big dummy, dumbhead. Well, that's why. I was wow. exempting my white privilege. For saving the freaking okay. white. Yeah. yeah, being white doesn't give you privilege, but it is your. Well, yeah, you know. but the white does, but the nose ring and the uh, color of hair takes it back down to zero again, makes it level. You know, uh, minus negative. Yeah. Oh come on! You know these people have scales and balances, and you fit this group, so we're gonna fuck with you. There you go. So the real trick is how to not be in any group of any kind at all and that's impossible yeah. so uh yeah. governor yeah grim gave me where that was up in canucistan where the weed was twice hey, but you know people will pick a group for you to belong to by how they react to what you think or say or type because you know you're taking it in the way you know it, it could be something different well but, i feel like i give lucas a call uh, Maybe I need to uh, Lucas. tell my I would like to do a First Amendment audit, maybe a ride along or something. Oh, uh, with a cop, yeah. yeah. Do some so sniveling I, like and complaining. To, yeah, a ride along. I'd like to spend the day with them and take your talk camera and out. videotape yes. and tell yeah. them. I, I don't want to, but I think I'm a. Really <laughs> you don't want to. Oh, wow. I, I don't like presentation. Well, why wouldn't you then? If you don't want to. Well, because there's a, a duty and obligation we have in this world to uh, to right wrongs when we find out about them. Yeah. You know, it's not always going to be comfortable and it's not always going to make you feel good. Probably oh. never will. You know, <laughs> I don't. You're kind of strange. I think you get a giggle out of doing this crazy shit you do. Well, it was like petting that snake. I was telling you, uh, old boy stopped out there on the road and looking at this big old long snake. And so. He crawled up in the briars, and I went was looking at him, really pretty uh, rat snake. So I reach over, and I'm petting this snake, and the snake just, like, looks at me like, dude, you're <laughs> really petting me? I, you know, maybe that – how far can I actually go over there? And, and t it's like counting coup. You know, I touch it and not get bit or hit or stomp with the jackboot. That's because you're insane, Vince. There's – you're beyond the vibration level of normal. Nah, you're way beyond all that. <laughs> you're in a class all your own. You're now you're you're getting like superhero powers. <laughs> you can pet I know, snakes. it's amazing. I Be wasn't even bitten by a spider. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, you know when you think about compared to a spider, I'm a giant. So you imagine that poor spider's just defending itself, going, "Hey, you're gonna kill me. I'm gonna kill you first. Ah, I bite you fast. Well, got more respect for a spider than a cop. Cops got a loaded fucking gun, and for whatever reason, they can just decide to shoot you. There you go. You're done. You know, dude. If you're ever in that situation, hmm. is get the cop to not shoot you. Yeah, you know, I kind of got a grip on that by not being around cops that shoot people. I don't, I don't think you can count the cop shootings in Denmark in twenty years on one hand. Probably, maybe not even that. Maybe one. It's not known for its gun violence. If you, if you're like black mm. in America, yeah, uh, and you run from a cop, you're yeah. probably gonna get shot. Really. Well, you know, there's a good thing I'm not black or in America, then. I, I win twice. <laughs> what What do you got for the second place runner-up that's living in America and it's black? 420 plus four. How's ah, that? Plus four. I, I've been I, here. I make the 420 report, but I, then I got high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Vinny's catching up, so I'm going to catch up with him. 
thank you, dear. My my wife helps me with all my big problems in life. Just think when you're old and feeble, she'll she'll help you in to the bathroom too. Well, I think the uh the goal is for me to not get physically and mentally deficient not to adjust to a deficiency, you bonehead. Try oh. to trying to survive on you know through my own physical work not other people's come on but it, i mean but eventually i mean you don't just live and all happy and free and uh, why not stupid. how old was jack lorraine ah. before he died i don't know he was old, but was he up and running the whole way yeah he was Did a he freaking run exercise run? lunatic in the right. 60s on 50s and 60s on american tv and yeah. he was he was insane the guy would swim in water pulling a freaking boat he was like a big muscle that could talk yeah he yeah. was a little skinny guy no he skinny. wasn't skinny he was like a, a gymnast he was <laughs> he was a little sit guy on the beach getting sand kicked in his oh. face <laughs> that yeah you can't mess with me <laughs> I'll get big one day and I'll really rough you up I really never did understand that because people that were around me that were bigger were all about making sure that didn't happen to me. So it never happened to me. Yeah. No, that's right. it's, I get it's, teased by people about being short. It's their friends of mine. It ain't strangers that do that. Right. Family if and friends. Big dog, they're big, picking on a little dog. I'll go kick the big dogs <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. The big dog. <laughs> yeah. But you know, now everybody's got guns. You know what you got to be afraid of? Guns. Bullets in the gun. Oh. Fuck the uh, gun. You could say that till I smack you in the head with the pi bu uh, the pi the butt of the pistol. That's it. Pow. Yeah, yeah. See, it's one of those things. If you're getting that close, you don't need the gun. Then you're a pussy. So what's My the point of the gun? My brother got robbed one See, pussies. Yeah. He was like, "F you," and the, the dude popped yeah. him in the head with the Ow. pistol. Oh, My brother that's just... bled, and then he thought about yeah. it. And his money is cold. Like, I was robbed, wow. but I caught that Cuban later on. <laughs> you God, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> he, he stabbed me, man. Oh, fuck, Vinny. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Cut me out, like three or four times, man. Wow. I, he, he, okay. I, but I caught him later on. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. That's just been to Vegas. Man, you've just lived a hard life but compared to me, mister. <sighs> yeah, he had help, though, because he couldn't do it by himself. Not that pack. Yeah. No, fortunately for me, I, I would say the psychos that I knew in my lifetime, I was related to them by um, blood, so I knew who they were. <laughs> it wasn't a surprise. It wasn't a shock. Going, oh, hey, it's you. No I've been problem. stepped into my thing. Mm. First uh, time I, I think people are, are basically okay until they start thinking. And then something goes horribly wrong, <laughs> and, and decisions are made. <laughs> Shit like that. Stuff happens. <laughs> we interact. It's just awesome and amazing. It's like a TV show. But can, can you separate reality from television? Because I don't think some people can do that. No, people can't. I've got friends that watch soap operas and uh, Survivor and you know, Big Brother and uh, there's some other one, I think. See, yeah. it's the wavelength that they receive that on is something that misses us, me and you anyway. I don't know. There's you a know few the other folk out that, there. The rules of those games, that's what, uh, you know, put people's mind and psyche and how to... Uh, you know, go about life, and it's all, you know, deviance. And, yeah, uh, and if you try to bring it to their attention, they defend the monster from you arguing about a monster. It's insanity. What, um, Moose was calling it. We didn't uh, record the dork table. Spreaker didn't pick it up. But uh, Moose was talking about that. Stockholm Syndrome. You Stockholm. start to adore the very freaking monster that's keeping you prisoner and you protect it and you call it all kinds of pretty nice names i, I talked about that in the comments in the description i think uh <clears throat> edited 
mm. <clears throat> description of that video I got uh, 80 or 90,000 views on now about. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was reading Ann Weldon's comments at the end here. <laughs> I'll mute. I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's what I was thinking. But I was I was relating how uh, uh, my buddy there, yeah. uh, he is all like, "Oh, that cop, he's got to be so hot wearing all that bulletproof and a big old fur, uh, hat there, trooper hat, and la la la." Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, yeah. he's all like he sympathizes with them just pulling them over and going oh, down the road and yeah. of course he's you know criminal uh, you know record on that and, and he don't have any rights and you know yeah, what I, was like, man, I was trying to get my phone plugged in and the battery going enough where i could uh get it going it was dead when when it was getting pulled over so by the time i get it filming he's already around on my side going to search the truck and uh, he opened my water jug i should have got on to him back well, I was giggling and fooling around because and well then and ended his comments with guns are not evil. Evil people use guns. Case in point, the military. <laughs> and in my opinion, and I've lived amongst the military, those are some pretty bad motherfuckers, those military people. I don't know, thank you. They're... <laughs> They're doing a job. It's not personal. Got nothing to do with. Um, they're not being nice or good, and they know that. So, hmm. I just disagree. Why don't see if nobody had a military? This is the whole problem: is these aggressive fucking monkeys get a few dollars and they go, "Hey, Bobo and Doofus." I'll give you five coconuts each if you go across the street there and you take John Brown's cow and bring him back to me. And there you go. War is born. I was wanting to join the French Foreign Legion. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. I was on a run because, you know, then you get Oh, yeah. Life. Okay, I forgot about all that. Yeah, you got me. Okay, sorry to laugh about it, though. <laughs> it was, but it was out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> French Ford Legion. But yeah, you were on the run and you'd be that uh -huh. dummy that would know how to ride the camel into town, but that's a whole <laughs> other show. <laughs> I of course you gotta learn French. That's one of the <laughs> French of, uh, you know, becoming wow. a member of the French Foreign Legion and kill people, be willing to kill people and take what is in Okay, but tell me why it doesn't make sense for nobody to have a military presence ever <laughs> at all. These well, things are like shunned upon. Presidents. I would like to have uh, get some grenades. <laughs> this for Santa Claus, military president. I like wow. a give me a cool knife too. That well, always works. No, I'm saying take all that crap away and do away with it. it's ignorant. Wow, ignorant. I like Brent. Vincent. Let let us what? face the 21st century. We're making robots for people to fuck. Now, don't ruin it for these people. There, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there, there's a bright future on the horizon, Vincent. And although it seems to make me laugh, it's it's really looking good. <laughs> I do have a class available for those that would like to register and sign up now. I gave some uh, some exemplatory information last night. I shared in chat with Moose Girl. Exemplatory? Yes. <laughs> What's that? You're making up words? <laughs> exemplatory. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Professor? <laughs> yes. Uh, bad word alert. Bad word alert. Yes. It, it is the mini school of fucking fun. Yeah, see that that's the whole point. So I'm just not for all that shit. So I live where all that shit doesn't happen. Big trade off. Oh, you could get invaded. Ah, the the bikers probably got plenty of guns to take care of an invasion. I ain't gonna worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I know. Awesome. Look out one of these days, buddy. 
one. Then you'll be different, too. I've been here for five years and still, there you go. We're going to we're gonna create a special regiment and head it up with Han. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's so, I, even when I do this stuff, I think about, and I talk about it on the radio, I think about that. And wonder, wow, it must sound like I'm talking out of my neck because nobody's life is how I explain in life. Nah, everybody else has got I a different life. For this. Huh? No, nobody has ever told me, at least, that, uh, that you're talking out your neck. It, they, they say it's a much lower. Oh, okay. Well, I've been called names by a few guys on the RLM over the years. But, and gals, one that's no longer with us. But see, she showed me. I got what I had coming for all those horrible things I said about 9 11. <laughs> and uh, that's how people are. That's what we've become. Uh, ew, disgusting, huh? <laughs> it's like soup, it's got no form. It's like a liquid gas vapor thing and it's got a lot of different colors in it embarrassing ah what is what 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 listening to music while we're well, talking yeah, i'm just Turn saying down. boy we're over here having serious conversations by god <laughs> yeah but see where i'm at physically there's no threats to anybody the old and the young mix Young families are, you know, they don't all own cars. People walk, ride bikes. It's a small area. So it's a way different lifestyle. I've never been in anything like it before. So it's still new after five years. That's that's good. It helps, right? Yeah, and when they inconvenience me with their road work, i got to remember well, that. At least they're doing things to live up to the amount of tax they charge the people to to live here, be citizens, and all that. You know, five years ago, there a lot of people felt there was inconvenience when the interstate got shut down. That big old cowboy standoff thing going on under Nevada. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what they said. <laughs> One or two. Wow. There are many more that says, Yeah, America! Yeah. Well, people have a pretty a selfish outlook on what America is about, I think. Rain, you know, uh, anal retentive people have a very, very clouded view. Mm. Well, it's a kind of outlook on life. I don't, not only anal retentive, some people are just blind to what really is happening. They they see it in a way they were taught to look at it. Never go beyond what they were taught. Never think for their self. I see. That's my version of how I figure, well, wait a minute. If we're on a the spinning ball and this, that, and the other, and... Water needs this particular the blah blah blah. Then, when you whenever you question anything, you splitting the fucking thing into a fight. We've been like trained on certain topics to attack each other like dogs over shit that may or may not be true, depending on what your personal knowledge is. And people consider reading a book or knowing another person's opinion, and they call that knowledge. And I say, hmm, sounds a little bit suspicious to me. I wonder what there is that they're not talking about. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> eh? Must be. Eh? Hmm? 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 Must be more. Well, yeah, in a perfect world, we wouldn't be struggling like we do to do what life is uh, required of us to do. It's all got a price tag to it. Now, figure out how that fucking works and why. All your what? needs in life all have a price tag to fulfill them. All I can say is even a blind pig can find it. Well, maybe so, but I mean, the system 
milks you for every nickel there is connected to you for a lifetime. <laughs> what do we get in return? Road work. Wow. I'm telling you, man. But they do the plumbing and all the electric and plumbing and under there is what they got the roads dug up for. I'm not even sure what the upgrade is. The experience I see example than road work is uh, waste. <laughs> it they're they're uh they've been redoing this highway up here, uh, Highway 65 through uh, Arkansas. Yeah. No, they're not they're doing the road. They're digging the road up to replace well, plumbing. Yeah, well, they're having to add utilities and relocate utility utilities. So they're putting in some fiber optics now for down the highway and moving the telephone uh, and the. Uh, power lines and whatnot they're making the it's the interstate corridor 65 so they're trying to get it four lane and you know they've been working on it for what, 65 and what 40 highway 65 highway uh, oh, i'm trying to think of yeah, what, uh, what interstate was 65 and five highways, right. with interstates your even numbers like 40 and 10 they go east uh east west and yeah, east uh, west the are the odd uh, are the uh, even numbers and uh, north and south uh, are odd numbers so anyways, this is the interstate corridor. And of course you understand going back to the the interstate system itself and the, the wartime powers in Eisenhower uh, you know, connecting the uh, the Americas. Uh, way back when interstate I mean the interstate highway route sixty six was uh the ribbon that took us from uh, the Midwest to the to the western shores. You know, of course that is like too but just driving wise, but there were trains and right. there were still buses too. How far back does the bus system go when it goes from city to city? That'd be interesting to look at. No, when I was out there, look it up. What is interesting was the highway that went uh, from LA to Salt Lake City. Hmm. Uh, and I have some uh, the story still to, to bring together. But, anyways, the guy that was out there promoting people to actually build and maintain their section of road, you know, between certain point and another point. Mm -hmm. um, and he promoted this, uh, this highway. So it went from a, a series of mule trains. This goes along the, uh, the old Spanish trail and the, uh, the Mormon trail. And uh, they were, they shifted depend on the time of year, the conditions, and, you know, mud or uh, snow and, and rain or whatnot uh, but anyway so they they built this series and then it finally became uh you know from a trail to a highway and uh, then the interstate 15 come through and you know eliminated parts of that but um the actual process of the uh, egress and ingress and the uh, uh you know going across to the lands and going to some place and how these roads are built to now where uh, it's a system and series of waste and delay. And, uh, you know, it's like, are you kidding? Why can't you just build this thing? You know, you're going to spend years and years of doing this. It's ridiculous. Oh, I was talking about like Greyhound and, you know, companies well, that travel, they you, bus companies. I want to say back was, in the 40s at least. There was another one too, and I can't think of the name of the railway and um, Greyhound and uh, oh, there's Jefferson's line, Jefferson lines now. Trail, what was the other trailways, one? Trailways, that was it. Now I remember another the trailways. One trailways. Yeah, but how far back did the bus trips go? I was taking them in the '60s in uh, California, Greyhound. But I never thought, of, well, I wonder how old the company is and when they started and how they ended up doing all they did. Because at one point in history, that wasn't too bad of a way to travel. But as we got overpopulated and more technical, they let the, they let the bus system just fall apart. But still made it necessary to use it. It was always busy, but just maintained in a really shitty way like the cheapest possible way to run something that's the way they did it so they could well, make profits 
for somebody. Greyhound was uh, was founded in 1914 in uh, Hibbing, Minnesota. Oh, uh, Minnesota. And let's see what else is going to start up. Who started it? Is, uh, is Greyhound a bus or a train? Is that a serious question? Here's the uh, Wikipedia on uh, Greyhounds. It says, uh, Greyhound Lines Incorporated, usually shortened to Greyhound, is an uh, uh, inner city bus common carrier serving uh, over 3,800 destinations. Hmm. What else does it say? Uh, in 1929, it adopted the, the Greyhound name. It's a subsidiary of British transportation. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> subsidiary. Wow. Uh, Greyhound, stop. Google that. There's many, you'll get millions of hits for that search. Uh, Which, I wrote wait, a. Say it again. Uh, Which search? Greyhound sucks. Oh, okay. Greyhound sucks, yeah. Wow. Um, I have a bridge uh, many, many a mile yeah. on the back of the Greyhound. Yeah. Somebody said. Me over here and make a look. Well, oh, silly. Well, I did it one time on and off, <laughs> but it's been years and years. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm going to ride my own vehicle next time I go road trip. You're still planning to do some more traveling? Just not right oh, now. Yeah. Not right now, yeah. What are you um, going to rent your place out to some hobo? Keep an eyeball on all your shit. No, I'm going to catch a bunch of snakes and let them go. <laughs> you dirty dog. Lay booby traps everywhere. Just don't forget where. <laughs> Trip yourself up there, Bongo. You wouldn't do that, would you? What? Set a booby trap for somebody else to no. trip over and hurt no. theirself with. No, you know how to do way. that kind of crap? I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> okay. Hey, secret agent freaking Vinny. <laughs> I can neither confirm. Uh, yeah, when people ask oh, you yeah. people ask you where you work, just tell them that you're retired from the CIA. And they'll go, Oh, no. there was a yeah. you had video that Taco shared. Some uh, this lady a first amendment auditor was filming the post office and some lady comes back uh, comes up acting all like She's some secret agent. I can't tell you what agency I work for. <laughs> can't be filming my asset. Yeah. In that process. Film your asset. <laughs> well, you know what really amazes me about privacy in, in a public setting? What? And it's usually when people want their fucking privacy is when they're in a public situation and all of a sudden, hey, don't look at me. Turn the camera off. Well, you're the idiot in public with the sex doll. What did you think I was going to do? Don't film me, bro. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm putting this on YouTube as soon as I get done. Because if you're filming me, I'm not giving you permission to film me because I walked up to you with a camera in your hand <laughs> and you filming me. But I don't give you permission to film me because I'm uh, it's private, even though I'm in public. And So last night, Grim, Grim, well, not last night, Monday night, whatever last night is to you. But Grim. Monday night, Grim does the Grim leftovers and he did a, a bit on the sex bots. And a year ago, I was making jokes about being a programmer and hacking into the sex bots and messing with the responses that the damn machine gives. Put yeah. it on. I ain't finished yet. <laughs> me. By remote control. The super hackers, man. I'm going to lead them to the salvation. And we're going to do it through controlling the sex bots. <laughs> Never mind. You're very scary. <sighs> hey, man, there's going to be apps to do this crap on the internet. You watch. It's going to be insane. The world we're inheriting from the, <laughs> the technological shit that's coming our, our way. The people that don't get inoculated and shot by the cops and all this other stuff, medicaled out of it. 
We're going to see some fun shit soon. They're running out of ways to explain the debt. So get ready for fun times. Yeah. Hey, let me give you some more on the yeah. Greyhound. Yeah. So from 1930 <laughs> to 1945, there were about 100 bus lines from 45 to 1983. Expansion, desegregation, mm. and diversification. That's right. You can ride in the front now, baby. You know what's funny? No. is Everybody wants to ride in the back of the bus nowadays. Oh, yeah. I remember when it was the smoking section of the bus. Back, yeah, of, that's back like seven or eight rows. Then they cleaned up the, all the air so people wouldn't die of smoking. And there you go. I had... Uh, yeah. I had back of a greyhound yes. I wonder wonder what it is about if I don't like something that I want to go to the government and have the government make everybody that does what I like don't like make them stop doing it because I don't fucking like it <laughs> you're gonna have to have a lobby first of all Mr. right Hello, but I'm just sir, saying that that's how petty people really fucking are they don't give a shit about freedom. They want their freaking way. Ah, you smoking a cigarette? Well, yeah, then that blow that. Well, I don't know. To me, it's just not the big crime of get your freaking hand out of my, you know, wallet, Mister Banker, or government entity. <laughs> You don't sound Ray like Hill. you're following along with the dotted line tonight, senor. I, I do, I'm still stuck with this idea of uh, the Greyhound and what it really oh, I'm, I'm yeah, glad because, I made you think. You See, you do your research, too. Now, you yep. used to be, uh, when I was a kid, nineteen late 1960s, I remember we stood there on the side of the road and waved to the bus driver, the, the Greyhound man. It might have been Trailways, actually. And, uh, um, Back when you could actually drop the wind and stuff and spit jaw, uh, chaw tobacco juice out the window, you know, and smoke on the bus and all that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, they stopped, picked me up, and carried me and my little brother to Tulsa where we get off and met my dad uh, and my grandpa. You know, he was there with us and things you used to do. But anyway, so there was Trailways and there was Greyhound and uh, there's another company. I can't remember the name of it. We was uh, talking about earlier it didn't come to me but anyways competition you know now there's mainly only greyhound and they do whatever they want to and you know the drivers some of them they have a game where they think it's funny to put somebody off the side of the bus out off the bus on the side of the road for having had some uh, uh mere complaint of saying hey buddy not just because you're you're not god you know and the drivers are like ha 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 uh and I called the police on you too. Oh, they put you off the bus and you got all not pissed. Me. Not me, but I've oh. seen them do it. Oh, did you become super Vinny protector of the innocent? And I save have. Them? I, I have. Oh, well, tell I me have. all about it. Hold on, I'm thinking somebody's here. Uh -oh. Maybe not. I'm tell them to go on. away. You're on the radio explaining the importance of life. And li liberty and the pursuit of property. FedEx. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of property. Not happiness, you mongrels. That came later. They changed it. Oh, you know, I, I'll get. Hey, don't yell. I, I know you're there. Hey, you know what? Hello? Something else that was changed. What? The legal definition of the word. Wages. The wages of sin? Mm -mm. The wages of money. Uh, the way we do commerce. They, um, wage. Well, the profit, used, profit at one time in history used to be the return of a, off of an investment. And then they broadened it over time for the tax people to be able to charge the workers for working. The work That's tax. You know, they call it IRS, but hey, wait a minute. 
Here you are doing everything that they're telling you that you should do that's good for everybody, and they're punishing you by taking a third of it away. I'm going to wait a minute. I back on your words. Well, I'd you really know, But unless you make about 200 a year, that doesn't really apply to most people. But there's financial brackets where, geez, you don't really pay anything. They withhold a little bit and... They shuffle bullshit around. They give you some of it back. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Big game. It's like, wait a minute. If this was real, it wouldn't work like that. You try doing business like that. See how long you survive. You know, they run it in debt, so they never have to be accountable for nothing they do. They're always in debt. We already know that. Just add more numbers. Well, how long can this go on before... More people than me start going, hey, aren't you people noticing we're passing around the IOUs and promising and everything, so why not just get a better result for the promise and upgrade? <laughs> Go to him. Double down on the freaking debt. Fuck it. By the time it's all over, the Rothschilds would be a historic uh, memory. Would have collapsed them. But How come we don't have statues? memorials raised to these people to who the Rothschilds yeah oh because they're in the background behind banking hiding they don't want the public to know who they are and it's like the uh, like the English crown you know? the English people yeah, don't on. seem to realize <laughs> that their queen is from um, Germany she's a German there's lots of common knowledge to me is not common knowledge to somebody that's heard a different version of the story. Depends on the story, doesn't it? No? Okay. Are you playing games in the road again, Vincent? I must be talking alone. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there he is. I keep hearing you. Are you running around like a lunatic? I, I did. I had to go get some more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I understand that. Should have said is something so uh, I knew. Uh, <laughs> is this Vilhelma? I bet you speak of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Queen Vilhelma? Yeah, see, they're talking the about the they're talking about the infrastructure. It's turning into towers, poles, and cameras. You know, for your safety? What? No. So you got total fucking control. And everybody's well, afraid. That's Let's think about that for a minute now. What? If there's cameras on all the street corners, would we all be safer? From what? From, well, that way they could report anybody committing crimes and then we'd know who did it. Well, depends on what kind of society you live in, doesn't it? Well, in like a city. I mean, you don't city. need one out here. Oh, man. Now, if that's the reason, I don't want to be in the city just for that reason alone. Pass. Well, you got to bad people in cities you know you understand that right well yeah but i just don't draw them into my life and i know they're there but we don't really do things together we don't associate me and the bad guys okay well that's what i had to say about it i don't know how deep you wanted me to be i'll be right back oh he's wrestling the gators and Arkansas tonight. Vinny joined us this evening on In a Perfect World, and we've been bantering about every who knows what from here to there and the other thing. Just bullshitting around. I was trying to read a link. I'll go back to my link and see if I can't catch up where I had left off. The link was called... Let me find the title here. How Cannabis Affects the Eye. And I was at, <clears throat> I believe, The Ways in Which Cannabis Affects Eyesight Needs Further Investigation. Uh, I think I read that part. Ah, yeah, already there are several acute ways that cannabis affects the eyes. While some are spectacular, like improved night vision, not all of the effects are enjoyable. Hmm. Okay. 
Shortly after consuming the herb, it is not uncommon to experience red eye. Hmm. Okay, Vinny, yeah, I was just reading that little bit of a link while you were away. Saving the world from the alien invasion in Arkansas. That is good, Calvin. You know this uh, oh. best place? I didn't actually get the, the uh, roast that I wanted. Hmm. They only had the meat roast, but it's still... Uh, I like it better than Folgers, um, but I do like like the uh, exotic coffees. But I rarely buy them, you know, where you got to grind your own bean. But anyways, this is a best choice, superior roast. It's good stuff, man. Uh, I like. It. Now somebody yes. was hooting around out there. I had to go see what was going on. They they slipped off before I caught them. Uh, bummer. You they could have confronted the evil that men do. Well. I, I had a guy stop in front of my driveway earlier, and that's why I got right. I got back here for the five minutes before show. Uh, um, yeah. He was out there poking a snake, and so I went out and introduced myself. Ah, uh, yeah, because you are the mayor of Podunk, Arkansas. No. No. Well, just, oh, you don't call would, your little house Podunk? Uh, what do you call it? Well, I don't call it nothing. Well, I just I gave it a name. You I didn't seem it. to like that. No. Hey. This is uh, Half Moon Mountain. That's where I live. Yeah, but your little bit of house there and whatnot, give it a name. Oh, okay. uh, I thought Podunk I, oh, was kind of yeah. redneck. No, I, uh, I call it my box. Your box? My box. Your box. Hmm. Yes. Well. I'm adding, adding amenities to my box. Boy, that is that's really showing some real thought there my box hmm. right i, I love that podunk was at least interesting but okay uh, that, your box yeah, that's like a so stereotypical of a podunk Re yeah because it's all redneck sounding and shit podunk who else in the fucking world oh. besides a redneck would have a reason to say a word like podunk <laughs> you, know, you can be redneck you billy but a redneck and not necessarily be a hillbilly. There's yeah. some, some cert there for you not to ponder. So yeah, podunk just it's not uh, a generic fit all redneck hillbilly uh, southern fried slice of country. Oh, like sort southern of. fried. Yeah. yeah. Well, we about Pod buried that poor fucker alive. Anyway, <laughs> you know, we were talking about on Saturday that didn't get recorded to posterity was the uh, the marijuana word fraud you know you know I, what what word was, flash sorry to interrupt what was that that different strain of the cannabis that was not remember when uh, yeah, I, sativa I, or what's the opposite uh, there's two different two yeah uh, the sativa, and the sativa indica, but, and indica that I think that the one that they uh, the one that they prosecute is not the one that we use. Yeah, it was neither one of those two. There's a there's another. Mm. Uh, oh, there's a third choice. I don't know. Yeah, you do the research in this partnership. Uh, I meant to do that. Hal's well, brought it there up. You go. He, he, he brought that to bear after I'd shared that. Uh, that's what, a couple of years ago or more ago? Maybe three. I don't remember. Uh -huh. You're asking me for a memory. Oh, you're in trouble when I've been smoking. Eesh. Oh, yeah. And then uh, my mother-in-law, 420 on, is her birthday. Nice. Yeah, my dad was the 18th, but my my dad's gone. But now my mother-in-law is the 20th. So it's just kind of bizarre, you know, to have two people in my life born that close together makes it easier to remember for me because i don't I, do very good with dates and shit like that i'm bad about dates really am yeah, it was a sunday standoff anniversary friday and i forgot all about it i it, 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 the week before i should have prepared a show for that but yeah the only birthdays i remember are the ones in october at least when my birthday yeah, month is i don't even remember my dad's or my mom's without looking it up well, Salamo is doing the good, pure power plant 
on the real liberty media.com. He also says if I was a woman, I'd choose a different word than box. Oh, yeah, but you're not a woman, so who gives a flying fornication what you call it? I just wanted it to identify it so I could make fun of you and you wouldn't go along with podunk. So we got the box. Okay. Box and podunk is all grown up. Uh, small township. Yeah. Donna, <coughs> she says she's a hillbilly, and, yeah. and Mike and well then says he's a redneck. Yeah. Redneck Did, hillbilly. Let me tell you what I am. Oh, oh I, okay. I'm a redneck hillbilly, southern fried slice of country with a western swing and a dab of salsa. By golly. Wow. Yeah, a dab of salsa from Tulsa. Hey, do you remember me? I'm, I'm married to a Dane. Dane me? Yep. Dane. Yeah, I ought to get my wife and completely wife. Danish over here. Uh, from the so highest trees. Very well. Oh, got a hole on me. There, now, now, now. Oh, I got the elixir right on the table, right in front of me. Look at this shit. Ah. Uh, she's not taking bows or anything for the work. We should clone her. No, 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 no. No, 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 just okay, one. Clown We're clowning. No, no, I'm not cloning my wife, Vincent. Well, we one is enough. We Even can't for... clown her, or clone her, then clean her. No. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're starting to go all damn uh, crazy on me tonight. Thank you. What, what's wrong? Are you? Did you bump your head on a doorway or something? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Did. I'm up underneath the front of my box. I have an overhang. I'm going to jack this thing up. Oh, there. yeah. So, this is what so I'm I was... building the outdoor. Yes, I'm building the outdoor on the indoor because I'm tearing out parts of the indoors to redo. Yeah. So, I'm creating uh, with ah. the weather, I'm creating an outdoor abode. <laughs> uh, a living uh, with that indoor look. Yes. Right. Yeah. Indoors it. out. Yeah, inside. there you go. Outside looking in. Hmm. Yeah, inside looking in. Wow. When you start, when you part, start putting the vinyl siding on the inside of your house, you know you're you're in trouble. <laughs> well, there you go. The, the Vogue. Uh, yeah. You can put the finger well. thing. You know. but the Vogue, yes, the Vogue. Uh, retro thing is to put tin, old tin. Up on <laughs> Yeah, all all fake the, bricks. <laughs> yeah, all the all the rich wow. folks are doing it these days. Rich and folks. Yeah. What, what are the rich folks doing now? Oh, uh, the what things you, that are low. Do you think? Oh, wow. Well, when I was young, rich folks did a lot of drugs. <clears throat> my my uh my friends uh back from way back when anyways their their mother she would say it's so modern <laughs> so modern <laughs> what, your box no i oh, know you're not bragging about your box okay what what's huh. so modern oh she would just say, say that oh ah, just in general one of those yes yeah women and it was, things so thought, yeah because you know she come up from the poor uh, <laughs> My friend, their dad, his, they, he went by Blackie, and he was uh, he'd come up from uh, from Missouri, and he went out west, California, way back when. California. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> and yeah, and so he, you know, he's a, a operating engineer out there, and um, he gets married, and a lot of he's on, um, you know, kind of come up, oh poor boy there, and she wasn't ever rich when she was growing up neither, and so when you get it were a point where you've made money and you start getting things you can appreciate the finer things of life, like indoor plumbing and running water. In the life. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. So when you get something like, say, maybe electric skillet, it, you might then say, oh, it's so modern. <laughs> I, I would only guess. I can't tell you for sure. I'll take your word for it. It's very oh, logical. It makes, you know, Makes good sense to hear it. Yeah, I remember back when you know when you had to grind your beans to get coffee, and oh, now see, it's no. some vogue uppity do thing. You know, uh, what do you mean you buy your coffee beans 
already ground, right? <laughs> yeah, they sell them that way. What? <laughs> they, they're well, not strapped onto the back of the mule. Way. When you can buy God buy a bag right there next to them, they're already ground up. Don't need no rock or pedestal or Wait, none of that. But like, don't we get the coffee from like the South, South Real America, far. South Central. something? Africa, Asia, South yeah. Central, <laughs> LA. You know, South coffee Central. Is really a fine thing. Coffee, huh? Is that what's on your mind tonight? Coffee. You know what? I would design a brew uh, that would contain poppy seeds, cannabis, coca leaves, coffee, uh, some other some other plants, probably. Uh, maybe the uh, ephedra tea. You know, you could have different blends depending on whether you want to relax, if you're hurting, or you want to like get up and get peppy, or maybe you had an achy joint. You could like add it into some solvent that would uh, migrate it through there real quick, like some DMSO or something like that. Okay, so now you're a mad scientist working on a medical experiment. Oh, no. If you had access <laughs> to simple botanicals, yeah. It, it would be no problem to make tinctures well, in the mind. Sure. For, what, well, be more. What do you. Okay. Like, what exactly are you talking about? Well, let's say I had arthritis. Let's okay. say I had uh, crippling, severe, well, debilitating you, you rheumatoid do. arthritis. Oh, you, I do have You it, do though. have that. You yeah, that's right. Needed me to uh, remind you that you have that. Right. But if well, I had. More fucked up than you think. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. I'd be like, I wouldn't even remember I had that stuff. Yeah, it would like not okay. hurt, you know. But what do you? Okay, what are you gonna do about it now that you've told me that you have this horrible, uh, crippling decalcification? What are you gonna do oh, to I, remedy it? Oh, I do stuff, but sometimes I don't do stuff. Well, there's what, a number. Tell me something that you do, not the thing you don't do. That. That Sometimes doesn't give me I drink nothing. whiskey. <laughs> oh, you drink whiskey. How much whiskey do you drink when you drink whiskey to remedy your elbows? Because <laughs> I won't get drunk with just anybody. I'm pretty ridiculous. Oh, so, yeah. I prefer to drink alone. You got to keep well, the guns away from you when you're drinking, too. Huh? Uh, no. No? Okay. No, I just. No. I always Some thought people. mixing guns and alcohol was kind of lame. Yeah, that's I don't know what would motivate somebody to do that on purpose. I can only see how it could be the horrible end result of a poorly planned evening. <laughs> what happened no, to you? Oh, a story about uh, after the days of the uh, the Oregon standoff and the uh, uh, some of these militia guys fled and they was hiding out in this uh, mountain home in uh, utah and uh, alcohol was added and loaded firearms and next thing you know somebody's jerked your pistol and they're popping off shots through the ceiling no way <laughs> yeah it happened wow <laughs> okay <laughs> see it's all that stuff out of the movies to me because i have a boring you know just dull life i'm not mr excitement <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my wife. Have, have you ever had a pistol pointed at you? Yeah, oh, a couple times. Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. Nobody pulled the trigger on me though, but uh, and uh, two of those was the police. Both times was by the popo. No, two and one other one. But oh yeah, yeah. Man, I saw a rifle, but I never heard anything. So. We'll just call that a three. <laughs> On a scale of one to two, that is number three. I think. Maybe not. But I yeah, heard a gun, gun back. Why do you ask that anyway? Because it's a terrible oh. position to put somebody in uh, on the barrel end of the gun. It's... Have you ever shot anybody? No, 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 no. I shot this kid. No, was... no, no. I wouldn't even point a gun at somebody anymore. I no. shot him in his eye. They wow. were shooting. They had their hand down. Yeah, they were wow. ricocheting. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I said, next one pops up, 
gets it. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. I gave him warning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. See, and Andwell thinks I'm kidding. No, I'm an old guy now, and I wouldn't recommend... The things that I survived just out of dumb, blind, dude, I look, I wouldn't recommend other people try them. You can get killed doing this shit, so... No, don't mix alcohol with guns. It's a bad idea. If you think you can handle it, good. That's wonderful. But I'm way over here where I don't have to have you prove it to me. I'll take your word. We won't Hansel you on this one. Where I demand, I see a video link proving it. <laughs> don't just type things at me, damn you. I want proof. <laughs> right, Vincent? That's right. Well, I strap you to wire and force you to do radio, you big bully. Well, I feel like I have a little freedom to range to you. <laughs> oh, well, and every now and again, we hit a good topic that's interesting. My personal favorite so far to date has got to be the cannabis crap because... It's so obvious what it really is about controlling something that is just a bit of nature. Leave it alone. Don't don't even pay attention to it. Look the other fucking way. It's a plant. <laughs> but no, <laughs> they won't do that. And all because it has a price tag attached to it. What what if it was really spinach like Popeye? What if same what thing? If like Popeye, how much really? Okay. Made them all up. Are, are there? They not, but it's a law. There's spinach farmers out there now. It's the same fucking point. If there's a dollar sign connected to it, you can sell it to somebody. The government wants to control it. Doesn't matter if it's a lemonade stand. They get lemonade. their smaller little level government offices to go out and make these things happen. You know, don't let little what? kids sell lemonade. What is the point of that kind of control on a society? What are they the proving to their people? That looks like lemonade in your glass. Do you have a license to bend that? Yeah, this is what? why. I, okay. uh, I had to kill that kid. You Still and Hansel it. should do a show so he could explain to you why he supports all this crap. He says he supports, and we could hear him tell you. That would be fine. Kind of cool, wouldn't it? Hansel, that, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Think he'd ever do it with you? <laughs> hey, I'd listen to it for a few minutes. <laughs> and you think it would be like a Jose show where all he did was tell you how wonderful he was and You're how shitty you are? <laughs> Get your mouth. As he did. Come on, remember? You had white privilege. I even had white privilege. I, have, I, did it with. I admit that. Yeah, I just demonstrated it. But well, my God. freaking father's Mexican, you monkey. How can he's I possibly have Mexican. white privilege? He just quit. He quit Mexico or his <laughs> ancestors. He quit Mexico. <laughs> no longer Mexican. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> by God. Well, no, Dude, I just. Get with you so it you, it you, went to show. To Jose was okay. judging, judging my race by my voice. <laughs> <laughs> He was hearing the white men speaking in the microphone, my friend. <laughs> and I would not say his name correctly. <laughs> Remember, he was all insistent, and I go, no, I ain't doing it. <laughs> he wanted you to be all wet back saying his name. He was like you about your name, only worse. <laughs> oh, I'm just the opposite. <laughs> I have so many. You're a name whore, though. You're the same. Yeah, it's I, the same name whoreness as he does. It yeah. Yours is nicer. But, rope, barbed wire. I'll take the rope. Your rope, oh, he's barbed wire. <laughs> what? Have you ever heard of barbless barbed wire? <laughs> Jesus. Was that the no, razor no, shit or what? Oh, no, barbless barbed wire. It's well, just like the, the stranded wire without barbs on it. Well, they, they use it for horses a lot. You know, horses, they don't want to get cut with barbed wire. Right. So why yeah, but you anyways, call it barbed wire? Yes, it, it, it also, it is the best. <laughs> you get the galvanized kind. The best uh, solar wind clothes dryer 
that you can ever find. Oh. Her foot. Her foot. It is the cheapest that you can buy. It'll last forever. Stretch her between two trees. Mm. Tension her up good and tight. Yeah. This is for all of you people on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta have a tall tree on the third uh, floor. Like that right now. When you think then of all the, when you, you ever think of all the places that Grimm's put us out to on the interwebs, we have been <laughs> everywhere. I wonder if we got any <laughs> Russians today. I don't know. Sometimes it's fun. Huh? Today we have our messy again this week. John has a long mustache. And the John. chair is against the ball. John has, John has a long mustache. Wow. And why and is that relevant to our conversation? It's it's it's, just, it's a message for the uh, <laughs> the Russian. Uh, Crim's right. Do you have a license to drink that lemonade? <laughs> Coming soon, sport. Hang loose. Still get to it. Man, these people are trying to figure out how to tax free. When they master that one, it's over. <laughs> We're done. Well, they kind of nailed it with um, that climate change crap. That was a good one. Boy, these lion sacks of shit and their stories and their make-believe. The more believable the story, the less money it should probably make, I guess, is how it works. But the more unbelievable and bizarre the story, the better the profits. What do you think? Uh, profits? Do they tell the future? No, the profits that go into the bank account, my friend. The money. I, the I mucho have... dinero. Can I get some? Uh, sure. How much do you want? Whatever I get. Uh, you I'll have all of it life. for all I give a shit. I'll, so I'll, I'll make believe it. anyway. Does how? Okay, will you explain to me? Because I'm still the only one that doesn't understand how we're all living in credit and anybody could take it serious I will never to divulge such it's I mean to to know it's there and to see it and then play with it and that's one thing but to believe it <laughs> uh, believe it or not no right. I think we've seen Before. too many TV shows that's what the problem I is I was gonna give the 420 report. Again, uh, you do that, but you know, Star Trek might have fucked with our thinking in ways we don't know it was fucked with. I blame the trouble on the trebles. That's right. Exactly, because you know, how do they know there's troubles in space in the first place? Mm -hmm. And they're going around making up all kinds of new alien life forms for us to be entertained by. You know, the Frangie was the Jew. <laughs> the Klingon was the African. <laughs> yeah, they got ears yeah. instead of the nose. Yeah, but yeah, big old brute strength. Yeah, come on. Yeah, never do you mind. like your nose touched uh, and caressed? Wait, do I? <laughs> ears, you crazy man. No, Frangies I say Frangies were the Jews. They had the huge I, ears. Yeah, but I'm asking you, do you like your nose like fondled? Why would you ask me a sick question like that, you freak? Your ears? <laughs> no, no, no. If you touched my nose, you would be in big trouble, mister. I would not like that at all. Really? We would have problems. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. You can really pick your friends, but you, but you can only pick your, yeah. You can, you can pick only pick your real friends. No. <laughs> no. Pass. I got something See, up there, but I'm trying to get this. I just can't get my finger right there. That's how you rednecks roll, though. That's why you and you and Hansel should do a show together. Now, look, a friend will reach over and say, "You got something right there," and I reach over and pick that booger that's been hanging right there oh. to, on that nose hair, and, ah. and everybody's like looking ah. at it, and ah. you know it's there. Could but a just, friend will. Yeah, they'll just kind of like step in between block, reach up very uh, discreetly, just pull the little old booger off and uh, have some back. You'll go back to talking and people will be like, oh, right. booger's nothing. I'd get my lawnmower out and 
started and yeah, because nobody can actually hear what you're saying if you've got a booger hanging right there it's on the test. radio if you have a booger hanging off your nose right now it's not bothering me any <laughs> bothering okay, me just... whatever <laughs> i don't know how you got on this tangent about booger now but okay booger well we started back at the the ear of the Ferengi. yeah the Ferengis. They're the Jews of the alien world, and they live by the acquisition. The what's that? The acqui what the articles of acquisition. That's it. Yeah. And they got like so, numbers. They go up to like two fifty. Let me. So let me ask you. Then, uh, uh, do you like your nose crest? No. So no correlation then between the Jew and the Ferengi. Okay. I don't. I may not. Who, knew, who is to know? We can only ask the great one, and the great one's not here, so you figure it out. So the rules of what? Acquisition? Yeah, the rules of... What is it? Yeah, the rules of acquisition and this, the Ferengi code, and there was like either 140 or 200 and something rules of acquisition. So every time some yeah. bizarre financial thing came up in the show... They just uh, say some obscure shit and go, nah, well, that's acquisition 417, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so if you never give like an M number, then that could go on forever. That's no, a rule. I think I they. By. I make up the rule. I My last rule is. Set amount of acquisitions, but I don't know. I'm not that Star Trekky Trekky. We need a real nerd to tell us the answer to this one. We have. Open the can we cannot close. The Star Trek thing. If uh, <laughs> uh, what was it, Vince? It is known as a Ferengi rules of acquisition. The, yeah, how many rules of acquisition are there in the Ferengi rules of acquisition? You can. And eighty-five. Yeah, she thinks I'm right, but I think I I got the idea because I YouTubed it one time. <laughs> Two hundred eighty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred. In the in a Deep Space Nine episode, the Marquis Part One, the Kona, a Vulcan, asked Quark, a Ferengi, to explain what a rule of acquisition is. He states, "Every Ferengi business uh, transaction." Is governed by 284, uh, 85 rules of acquisition to ensure a fair and honest deal for all parties concerned. <laughs> well, most of them, anyways. There you go. Just like in real life, huh, Vincent? It's not much <laughs> different. You like the uh, list? <sighs> no, nah, I just don't like the way the game is done, and can't yeah. get can't get anybody to take it serious. I'm. Just talking to myself <laughs> about it most of the time. Or, you know, yeah, but, uh, maybe at you, but on the radio a bit. Nose therapy? Nah, that, that wouldn't would... help. There you go. There it's it is. It's not right. about how big my parts are that matter. Nay, that is not the problem. There's deeper hey, here, problems. Here. <laughs> Number 30. <laughs> You're posting it on the hard yeah. way. War is good for business. Uh, and number 35, peace is good for business. Yeah. yeah. Business and business, after all. Oh, is that what it is? It's mm -hmm. something. I don't know. <clears throat> business is some business. Wow. But we're really like that. That Ferengi thing is, it's not even over the top. It's so believable to me. That's how people are with money they want more money they want to make more money next year than they made this year why so they can have more money why uh, okay seems kind of pointless to me at some point well the acquisition you know that all acquiring and oh it's mine and eh, please tell me it's all yours when you got to go out there and mow the yard you know, things that need to be managed. Then go, oh, yeah, this is all mine. No, you belong to it. 
It has got you by the short hairs doing things to make it look a certain way. Cause we're there's a lot. These are good. Mm. Yeah. What did you Only trip over now, right Vincent? Now. All right, number one four one. Oh, now he's reading the rules of acquisition and he's getting all Jewy. Yeah, I no. see it coming. Yeah. Okay, what is it you found there, Popeye? <clears throat> well, I'm already down. You know what the last one is? Of course not. How would I know? I didn't look. It says, when, when, when mom leaves, it's all over. What? No, when morn? Is that what it says? Like, I don't when know what, morn, you're, what you're reading. I don't know that is, what that is. It looks like it may be morn. morn. That's the last one. Oh, yeah. No good when ever born. government honey is number 285. Oh, so that's the last one. 286 was added. Quark's somehow. rule. Yeah. They said there was 285, and here they got. Quark's rule. When Morn leaves, it's all over. Bye. Morn? Yeah, what? but 285 is no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> brother <laughs> See, that's <laughs> priceless. And it, it's not really true but to me. Maybe it's true to you, but it's funny to me. Because yeah. I don't well, see a whole lot of people you know, doing all kinds of nice shit in the first damn place. There's a difference. There's a like, uh, you know, what? somebody might take advantage of you, of person's good nature, and you know. Yeah. Then, why don't you go ahead and take take advantage of my good nature, there, sport? Give it a shot. Let's see what you get made of. <laughs> go on. I, I triple. Dippled there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> take, ice cream, man. take advantage what you got of my good nature. Never, what you got on my forty? Oh, man, see, you can't do it. In a game of this nature, sir, you cannot win. We're on radio. Things don't. Eh. Nah, you can't. We're, we're here to overcome our differences of opinion and find. Um, middle ground that's good for everybody. And if me and you can do it, anybody can fucking do it. It's not real hard. Just got to listen. That's the decision I have come to regarding in a perfect world. More is good and all is better. I don't know. Depends on what you're talking about. Well... Never be afraid to mislabel a product, number 239. <laughs> oh, you're reading the inquisitions. Uh, you should have announced that. I would have saved myself the question. But They're all trust nothing. He's a Ferengi in training. Uh, <laughs> Vinny the Ferengi. Even in the worst of times, somebody makes a profit. Absolutely. Isn't that good stuff to know, though? Because well, in this world yeah. of passing around IOUs and promising to pay shit, <laughs> that's what we do. And pretend to make little payments on the big payment of the huge thing that you bought when none of it's yours any damn way. <laughs> Why don't they I just tell the truth? The truth would be right. so entertaining at this point. Half the population's all fucked up on drugs. Right, wait a minute. I'm going to have to refer <laughs> back to the rules of acquisition. You know, <laughs> nowhere do you find truth serving in any of those, I'm certain. Next. Oh, you're I, nexting me? Wow. Don't yeah. next me. Wait a minute. What are you? Are you now... Hey. Uh, are you my like the, ruler? Are you yes, overseeing what I say now, Vincent? Does it come to this? You're in line at the DMV, <laughs> and you would like some information. <laughs> what does the yellow light to mean? Line. Go to the end of the line. Start again. I want you to think about this oh. when you get back up here. Yeah. And when I say <sighs> next, you yeah. better be up. I oh. mean, don't. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What, what are you in, like, grade school or something? Oh. 
This that is, sounded like either DMV talk or five year old in school talk. Stand same in thing. line. Be counted. Stand in line. Wait your turn. <laughs> All this stuff that's just common sense, but when you crowd us into where it's too many of us, then hey. people act up and do weird shit. Go off their medication and decide to pound on somebody's forehead with a chair. Fun thing. Some, place, some places are nice enough to have lines painted on the floor so you know <laughs> you don't have to worry about stepping out of line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny, Vince. Uh, hospitals and jails. A, yeah. yeah. Jails do that, too. DMV. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, yeah, I think the pretty. I think the system we have now has completely been a gigantic flop. I am not impressed at all with law enforcement at any level. Local, state, federal, government. You know how to be impressed by military presence? No. No, I don't and even it, want to see that. Nope. Thanks. I saw a kid in uniform a couple of weeks ago and about shit my pants when I seen him. I went, what the fuck? Oh, he's taking a bus through town. Oh, God. Okay. Probably has family here. He came to visit, but he was dressed in a uniform. Fatigue uniform. What kind? I don't know. What kind? I don't know. Was... I'm in a foreign but land. I don't know. He could have been, could have been a day. Who knows? Could have been a costume. Hey, you know, just because you see a guy in a costume doesn't mean what you're looking at is real. Just means I'm American, pal. I've seen people dressed in shit that I wouldn't wear. <laughs> Say that. So, you know, military costume, whatever. It's all the same to me. I mean, yeah. it's, you got to have a little more. Enthusiasm, Mister. That's all I can say. Why? Because a, a uniform yeah. you can get from a damn thrift store or a pawn shop is supposed to excite me. <laughs> Why? Give me a well, break. You're supposed to be patriotic. You, you must believe all that horseshit you see around you and believe it's real. There's your first problem, sir. I guarantee, if you take two tablets of this, and that'll well, cure you of that. Over here, there's a door a laying off on the ground. Yeah. Uh, put them off the hinges because I said, I don't believe in doors. I was gonna <laughs> <call it. laughs> yeah, it does a lot of good when it's cold, huh? Kick the door off the wall. Oh, you're a big tough guy. You beat up on doors. What? Why do you beat up on doors? What's wrong with doors? Do they bother you? You've got you know, like dorophobia. <laughs> Kick the door in? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. No. Broke a few windows. But no, nah, I wasn't a big guy to kick in doors. Crazy. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to turn your down down your application <laughs> to say Homeland Security, yeah. Mister. We just like people that like to kick in doors. Well, those kind of people. Well, I do it verbally sometimes, I've been told. Ah, uh, kick maybe. your door in verbally. What do you think of that? Maybe phone phone room. Hey, screaming yeah. butt cheeks. What do you think of that? Huh? 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 All right, let's pretend I'm a person who didn't pay my taxes, mm. and you work at the IRS. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll pretend like I'm that guy. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. This is me, your honest tax-paying citizen. Yeah. With whom am I speaking, please? Uh. Hmm. Hello? I yeah. Wait a minute. Well, you just come out of left field with this one. Uh, to the hard. IRS. Come on. I'm it. the IRS. Uh, I want some IRS. You say I owe uh, two hundred fifty dollars. Well, you, when you write book. the IRS, it spells theirs. <laughs> so is that a coincidence or what? <clears throat> or is it oh. a sign? Here, I'll write yeah. it. Up the in IRS. See, Don't forget theirs. If you put it all in one word, it's not yours no more. It's theirs. Say goodbye to your. M and it's not yours any. Hey, what a game! How do you, how do you ever explain this to anyone? The 
the paper is not yours. You're using the paper. No matter what the paper is, it always belongs to them. <laughs> and we're, we're not in control of this shit. And we should be. We should have, had, have at least a say in how this is run. But it was taken away from, you know, the small guy that doesn't know anything and handed over blindly to the representatives in Congress and the Senate that, you know, have your best interests at heart. So this is what we get for trusting them. Uh, How do you feel me. about that? Are you happy about trusting the Fed, Mr. Vincent? Uh-huh. As long uh, as your Jack Skip cookie comes off. Oh, so you're you're just in it for the cookies? Absolutely. Oh. Well, what about all the bombing and warring and oil stealing and murdering and destruction they do? Chocolates. Yep. I don't like I that part, man. They go, hey, you American? I go, oh, no, not really. <sighs> well, you're either American or you're not. Mm, what do I say at this point? It's like, mmm. No, nah, when I th read about the horrible stuff we've done and do, ooh, we're not very nice people. I wouldn't want me to visit you if I knew about us what I know. <laughs> awesome. A chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I'll be good, I promise. A chocolate chip cookie will fix all of it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have chocolate chip cookie stuff? Well, but I, I sort of said no. I can't, she I can't make them. I will give you this advice. No. I will say that you can give a man a chocolate chip, but if you teach him to bake his own chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Do you really want me to bake my own chocolate chip cookies, honey? <laughs> I'm not baking for the fucking Americans. <laughs> just me. I'm just, I'm a country of one. <laughs> See, hey, I hear people in Denmark hate everybody all around them. That's what Han said. Is it true? I don't see. Ask sir. I really don't see how. I don't. No, I'm going to answer for you because there's such a mixture of people here. No, 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 no. That's a bunch of nonsense. They I'm recognize. Hans they recognize each other like a, a Californian would know a Floridian. Or somebody yeah, from the good. northeast, from you know, that the accent of the voice. And they speak a lot of languages anyway. Florida and California are kind of uh, uh, lacking in, in so many ways. Not all of Florida, of course, because you've got the isolated fog, but they kind of lack mm. a, an accent. So, well, uh, whatever. But where most of that anger and violence comes in is these uh, the soccer fans, football fans. The hooligans and the ruligans and the booligans. I mean, up until a few years ago, I was still reading in the internet that when the black players come on the field in the Spanish soccer stadium, the crowd would yell shit and throw bananas on the field. Not very nice to the darker colored folk in the sport. Crazy. Yeah. Hey, people, man, we're... Taught all kinds of stupid. Look at the stupid shit we fucking think and believe, and then wonder, well, how does this all happen? You, you don't just wake up one day and hate these people over what color they are. That takes years of work. It work. You got to hard like an, not trying hard enough. Yeah, because uh, wow. Well, you got to have an enemy. If you're going to be successful in life, the first thing you need is an enemy to conquer to be better than your enemy. There you go. There's your status. Ooh, I conquered my enemy. Look at me. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> what? You don't believe that? Look around you. Hey, you know what? The Jews are trying to tell people in on the internet, right? Here we are. 20 freaking 19. And for a hundred thousand dollars okay they sent a probe all the way to the moon but oh no just before it could be a success it crashed and blah 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 what and happened I don't, 
The Jew. Oh, fucking bay. I. What didn't you hear? Did they go to the moon? I don't think so. I think it's more bullshit because one more time we get a picture of the moon. <laughs> we already know that's there. And then we get a story about for a hundred grand, these people built a thing that was supposed to go land on the moon. And it didn't work, but they still got a gr another a million dollars to continue their work. Now, based on what? A story I read in print. No physical proof of anything. And For ringy the acquisition. Would, come on. What would you consider proof that any of these lying fucks went to the moon? How about a picture of the Earth from the moon? If you can go to the goddamn moon, you should be able to take a picture of me standing on my roof flipping you off from my house. But no. <laughs> they don't never do that. Why not? Tell me why not. What is it illegal to take a fucking picture of the Earth? Are the aliens stopping them? What? 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 I need to know. <laughs> hey, I could go Goober's way and want a spaceship out of here, but I, man, if there's no pictures of where I'm at. I don't want to leave it. What is it? <laughs> I'm scared. Uncle Vinny, I don't want to go out in outer space. Hey, stay here. Well, he spends hours studying a day. I spend weeks studying a month. I uh, I've spent years studying a day. Well, that was a see, type of, but that's what I mean about in, in intellect and all this other crap we all think we have. <laughs> to me, I mean, it's just a matter of what story you believe is real, and that's what you carry. Your obviously your story is the educators are teaching you something. All the educators taught me was they wanted me to do what they said and stand in a line and be counted and that wasn't really my thing. But yay. There you go. Ah uh, uh, oh. I'm still breaking this thing. Anti's right. bragging about being a, mostly a fuck-off kind of guy. Yeah, well, hey, you know what? After you hit a certain age, I I think that uh, just nature takes over and puts you a little bit lazier. You know, no reason to run and, and hustle anymore. At a certain age, you slow down. Stop all that shit. Let the kids do it. No, no, no. You should always do always that path with you. Well, I was a lazy man in my 30s, and I was married and had a house full of little kids to, to manage. You did? And, and I thought it would be a lot smarter of me to outsmart the kids rather than force by, you know, threat and death and all that other crap I went through. I thought, hey, we'll just be smarter than the kids. And what I ended up with... I could sit in the living room, and there was a long hallway with bedrooms off. It was plenty of kids living. There was a four-bedroom place. And I could yell, I want a slave. And they'd all run down the hall, tripping over into each other, trying to get there to be first. And I'd always pick all of them for whatever it was. And it could be anything from cleaning up the shit out in the driveway to ice cream for everybody. But whatever it was, it was for all of them at the same time. Man, you know what? What? Ice cream's a good idea. There you go. See, out of the mouths of crazy people. Uh, well, I never did enjoy it when, when people try to bully me around and tell me what to do. That didn't impress me. What, what did would be when they outsmarted me, made me think it was my idea. And looking back, you can see ways, you know, that's how life really went. Like when, uh, oh, crying out loud, I, I'd... Do simple things for dinner time if, if I had a house full of kids. I don't want to cook for kids. So I make hot dogs or something. And I get distracted and they blow up on the stove. And I'll yell at them. Oh, no, you don't want to eat this. This is horrible. This is just disgusting. Don't touch that. And then they'd want one. <laughs> Tell them no and yes. You know, whatever the opposite is almost always works with kids. Got to make them think it's them that want to do it not you that want them to do it. It works better for everybody for some reason. The force thing just doesn't work. 
Why do you think that is? Because they're so often told not or no or don't. Just think that as people, we're just all raised wrong, basically. We're taught to care about the opposite of what we should care about and what we don't <clears throat> care about, we should care about, but we don't even know most of that's even there. So it's a very mis misguided kind of misdirected lifestyle that you get out of school and society because that's really not how life is because society is where you go and get robbed of your finances and your dreams and your hopes and all that kind of crap but real life is where you make all that shit work so what the fuck is the society part of it well, that's yeah. the thing to stop you from ever being successful, <laughs> in my opinion. Well, the rules of society were originally intended to uh, protect the uh, the minority, the majority. No, they weren't. Sure, yeah. How? Well, that way a bunch of people couldn't gang up on one person and say, uh, for dinner, yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't matter that you're not a sheep. Okay, well, law enforcement came in about the 1850s in America, in the East Coast, yeah. give or take, right? Up in Boston, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and the, that same mentality, that blue line was born there in Boston from these bean eaters. Huh? Whoa, getting all racial with us tonight, Vincent? Whoa. Okay, why, maybe why bean Boston? Why? Yeah, bean eaters. <laughs> I don't know. What's up with that? Anyways. Huh? <laughs> Baked beans. I, I think they put too much down molasses in it, personally. Oh, okay. Beans so, indeed. Critiquing Boston yeah. baked beans on In a Perfect World tonight. Oh, Mr. In a pan of cornbread. My God, everybody knows pies around in cornbread squares. So don't give me that cockamamie bull about power of square. <laughs> okay. You doing the notes or not? Uh, I can throw you. Uh, no, 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 no. That was if you want to throw stuff, you do the notes. I'll stay out of your no, notes. Next time, no, you do it. Next time, we should uh, consider no, like contributing uh, idea. Like if you had things, <laughs> we could both do things. And like, yeah, but I like controlling things without controlling things, Fanny. Right. Just See. told you the story of how I made the kid think it was. Their idea to do what I wanted. Doesn't work on just me. Just like I just did with you. No, it didn't work on me. Sure did. Because uh, you're doing the notes, buddy. I already got them <laughs> done. That's the <coughs> whole point. You're good. You I'm, are I'm good. smart, Michael. I'm smart. I want yeah. respect. <laughs> you know, Fredo. Yeah. Then Michael had him shot and dumped in the freaking lake where he belonged because he was a lying piece of shit murdering scum and that's what happens to lying murdering shit scum they end up dead in lakes I hope <laughs> swimming with the fish I would assume he wasn't swimming with shit <laughs> he was sinking with the fishies but well, I don't really have a lot of respect for somebody that does a horrible thing like that try to murder your own brother Ooh, I mean, that's a low, that is so far, I can't, I mean, I'm not cut like that. No, 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 no. You ever known a murderer before? Probably, oh yeah. I would say I have, but nobody's ever killed me or anybody within my visual in my life. But I, I lived would, with you. I would say while. sure. Cause but I've me, also known murderers yeah. that have gotten with it then uh, one guy's but he's got like maybe i think two more or three more years in prison but he didn't get caught for the murder mm. he uh he, and another guy that both of them killed this guy and got away with it well i've got like a a radar kind of a idea about that where if somebody's gaze makes me uncomfortable i then i do avoid them but doesn't happen very often but when it happens i trust it my you know my gut is not gonna uh, put me in jeopardy at this time did you see that 
No. Let's see what? Oh, the duck thing. Duck. Are you ducking duck. on me, you Not duck boy? Like <laughs> well, that's a show for the In a Perfect World with me and Vincent tonight, as far as I can tell. What do you think, Vinny? Yeah, you reckon wanna... pretty much round it out. Okay, well, thanks, everybody. <laughs> for We were just kind of all over the place, just jibber-jabbering about nothing in particular t this week. What are you going to call the show today? Did you figure that out? It's something I'll, about an eye. Something about an eye? Yeah. I'm going to call it Crickets at Night in honor of my buddy, Hal Anthony. Why? I don't know. Because he talk. uses crickets every week of his show. <clears throat> we hardly even talk about Hal, just a little bit. Oh, you know, I was telling the Cirque today, I missed that in my own. Uh, my growing up, I always heard the crickets chirping before bed when I was growing up as a kid. And as I, you know, moved and lived in other places, then I forgot all about it until the yesterday or today. I said, wow, about I crickets. had this flash about crickets. Bless you. Yep, bless you, sweetheart. Because Vin, Vinny heard you at you all over there in Arkansas. But, I love you, sir. Oh, he loves you, Circle. Ooh, ooh lovey dovey dovey. Everybody's all lovey dovey. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wait a minute. Very highly on my favorite peoples in the world. <laughs> Thanks. You're one of his favorite peoples in the world, sir. Likewise, Vincent. Hey, you make. We are in the world too, by the way. Yeah. You 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 want me to uh, do the. Uh, uh, yeah. You, well, go ahead. <clears throat> All right. So today you have been listening to uh, the Flash in uh, one of the many Vinnies in, in a perfect world where we've uh, been contrasting the occupation. Come along tomorrow and uh, Grammy Mary's going to be blasting off in that rocket chair. All times Eastern this week. Again, I'm practicing uh, my uh, time zone conversion ability so that will be at 7 p.m uh thursday we come along 2 p.m for 20 percent off that's right such a deal flashes back and uh friday i'll be back a pondering and a gander and some and probably pertunicating and um this and that but anyways that's at one o'clock uh, back again at seven for grammy mary again in the rocket chair and at 11 it will be most likely and perhaps possibly uh, balls to the walls unless uh, Moose Girl does not go to the concert and comes along and rides along for the freakers of ball. Uh, all. All right, coming on back for uh, be noon o'clock, Sabbath today, and that is uh, the dark table. And uh, we get dorky for people who don't need therapy. And again, come back. Sunday for the trivia for the pokey fast fingers in the, the quick eye in the mind and the play some trivia starts at this is very important be here at a quarter to noon Eastern time so you can catch Grimner as he introduces today and play some blues and we play some trivia and chitter chat in the, the chat box over there uh, and all fun and sociable like and it's like a it's like in a perfect world almost but different uh, it's a lot of fun come on and that is again at a quarter to noon we get started and i've got to reverse to the left coast time and the pacific at noon o'clock that's 3 p.m eastern time for y'all that are otherwise impaired to get behind the woodshed with mr hal anthony the notice of the news and learning the way to wander along life's narrow way. And one deep Monday, 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 we got grim leftovers at 7 p.m. Eastern tune. Yum, yum, yum. Come on over, y'all, and get a taste. It's good. I promise. <laughs> I don't disagree. I enjoy Grimm's leftovers. Ooh, that sounded very terrible when I thought about it. But like nah, like the it. show's pretty good. He did good this week. I was a laughing mob <clears throat> self because his topics are funny. 
I like Grimmer. I like his uh, voice. Kind of hypnotic. And how uh, has it? Uh, yeah. Well, they're like it. that. Like they put you under a trance, huh? Okay. I see how you are. Yeah. Mr. Funny Guy. Yeah. Like that scene. All right. Hey, thanks, uh, Flasher. Yeah. And, uh, thank you back, Manny. For, for listening. And we'll see you all next time on the Redidio. Next Tuesday with In a Perfect World. We done? Done. Say goodnight, Alice. Goodnight, Alice.